just because this is a lesson. I want you to try to kill me, okay? One more thing. Fight by using what I taught you. If you want my approval, earn it! That's not good enough, but fair enough. I suppose that will have to do. What is this guy? This is power.
Your moves aren't completely off. Continue trying to improve. Good! Wow! You're the best, almost. Sir. Sir. around Canton City. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary lately? Out of the ordinary, huh? Uh, not really. Wait, now that you mention it... What? Did something happen? Tell us! Go on! 
so there have been all sorts of changes to history up until now, right? That's correct. And they've been a royal pain, too. So that means the reason I'm still not married is because some bad guy is creating changes in history, right? I, uh, I haven't heard about anyone being responsible for that. What? Oh, come on! You say I'm supposed to be alone? Uh, don't worry, Yamcha. You'll find someone eventually. Keep your chin up. Nobody knows what will happen in the future. Oh, 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 yeah. Nobody knows about the future, huh? Kind of weird to hear that coming from you. Greetings. It's time for the Supreme Kai of Time City Patrol! Let's head over to the Namek area today, shall we? Wait! Isn't that Frieza and Zarbon over there? They could be planning some sort of evil plot again. Better listen in on them to be sure! Lord Frieza, would you be so kind as to tell me more about this new weapon you mentioned? The other day, a Time Patroller made their way to my ship. They mentioned something of great interest. It appears there is an object called a radiator that renders Earthlings inactive. I must say, this intrigues me. After a touch of research, I am certain we can weaponize it. A radiator, you say? What sort of object is it? I'm not entirely sure. I've asked Adoria to investigate, but that was over a week ago. Would you happen to know where he is? I seem to recall asking you to accompany him. Uh, yes, uh, about that, Lord Freezer. I lost contact with him approximately a week ago. What did you say? You don't think he was done in by this radiator object, do you? Uh, could Dodoria really have been defeated so easily? I can't believe that tiny freak got himself into trouble again. This radiator may warrant more caution than I thought. I may have to investigate this matter myself. Is a radiator really that dangerous? Maybe I'll ask Trunks the next time I see him. Greetings. It's time for the Supreme Kai of Time City Patrol! The next stop on our patrol is... Wait, is that Goten and Trunks running around over there? Hey, you two! Oh, Supreme Kai of Time! Hello! You two seem full of energy today. Are you still enjoying the Hero Coliseum? Yeah, it's loads of fun. We got all sorts of figures now, even the newest ones. Wow, that's impressive. Which one's your favorite? I like my dad's figure the best. The Super Saiyan 4 figure of my dad that just came out is the coolest! My dad's Super Saiyan 4 figure is cooler! No, my dad's figure is cooler! No way! My dad's figure is cooler! <laughs> it is on, Goten! The next battle determines which figure is cooler! Okay, you're going down, Trunks! Hey, you two! If you're going to fight, then do it over there! <laughs> Greetings. It's time for the Supreme Kai of Time City Patrol. Let's see, where should we patrol today? Oh, if it isn't the Supreme Kai of Time. Huh? Oh, hello, Whis! And Vados? Is that a microphone I see in your hand? Why would you be holding that? I'm broadcasting what's going on around the city as we make our way from place to place. It's rather unusual to see you two without Lord Beerus or Lord Champa. Most unusual indeed. They're attending to other matters. I see. 
You know, I've been curious about something for a while now. What exactly is it that an angel does to serve their god of destruction? Other than providing general assistance? Let's see. We don't have anything in particular we need to do. Ah, well, in my case, I do often seek out delicious items for Lord Beerus. In order to ensure Lord Champa does not become more opulent, I'm restricting his diet. So it sounds like an angel's duties differ based on the god of destruction they serve. Restricting his diet, you say? Oh my. Does that mean Lord Champa cannot partake in dessert? Indeed it does. However, if I avert my gaze for even a second, he manages to sneak some. Lord Beerus and Lord Champa are twins, aren't they? I wouldn't have guessed from their wildly different body types. I bet they'd look more like twins if we combined them and then split them in half. Combined them? Split them in half? Lord Beerus's slender frame serves as oh. evidence to the contrary. charm of the city. It must be a lot of fun wearing different outfits and accessories. Oh, I have a marvelous idea. I think it's time we put our fingers on the fashion pulse of the city. You there! Who are you wearing? What are you wearing? Seriously, is that a wig? It sure looks like one. That's a wig modeled after Goku's hairstyle. Oh, and that's a replica of your sword, Trunks! Uh, excuse me, would you model for us? Give us a spin. Ah! Is that... Poo? Oh, I see. It's an accessory known as a Poo Staff. How can you make Poo an accessory? I guess we should expect cultural differences like this when you've got time patrollers from all over. I'm not really sure cultural differences apply here. Actually, that reminds me... Since this broadcast is voice only, those tuning in won't be able to see anything in this fashion segment, right? What? Oh, I mean, right! <laughs> well then, we'll just save the fashion show idea for another time! Wait, are you seriously just now realizing this supreme guy of time? Greetings. It's time for the Supreme Kai of Time City Patrol! We've come to the base of operations for the Frieza Clan today. Isn't that the Ginyu Force? I don't see Captain Ginyu with them. They seem to be deep in a serious conversation. What could they be talking about? Oh, my! The fair that we took over before sold for a lot, and now everyone wants to hold a special get-together to celebrate! We're supposed to come up with some sort of special performance as entertainment. 
We don't come up with something that'll knock the socks off of everyone here. The Ginyu Force shall be the laughing stock of the universe. Uh, we could do impressions. Uh, how about impressions of Frieza? Are you insane, mate? He'll kill us for sure. Yeah, it'll be fine, won't it? I mean, no Frieza's not going to be there, right? What if we spice it up and make a weird alternate version of Lord Frieza? Wait, what do you mean? Well, for example, Lord Frieza speaking like a gruff midget. Oh no, that would be the worst. Yeah, mate. The way he talks is refined and elegant. Frieza's nice. Okay, then how about this? Lord Frieza with a tiny little bunny tail. Oh, uh, uh, no way. That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, Lord Frieza's long tail is stylish and cool. I think I get it now. How about this? Lord Frieza with huge, lovey dovey eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or, Lord Frieza without his trademark! Oh, 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 laugh! What are you men doing? <laughs> you seem to have been enjoying yourselves while I've been gone! Oh! Oh! Whatever you're doing, count me in, man! Count me in! Well, that was certainly unexpected! I think I might have Trunks sneak his way into that party and record the whole thing! Yes. Greetings. It's time for the Supreme Kaya Time City Patrol. All right, today should be another great day to find out what's going on around the city. Hmm? Who could be causing all this racket? Hey, it's Goku and Vegeta. Hey, you two. What's the matter? Oh, hey, Supreme Kai of Time! <laughs> it sounded like you two were arguing about something. What happened? Yeah, about that. Vegeta won't fuse with me. 
I told you I would never do that again! Really? I recall you two making a good team. Yeah, I mean, some super strong guy might show up and threaten the Earth again, right? That's why I want to train while we're fused. <laughs> I don't need to fuse with you. I'll handle any threat on my own. Hey, if we're fighting unfused, I'm going to be the one who wants to beat that threat. In order for two people to fuse, they have to be roughly the same body size and power level, right? I'm surprised you two have been able to fuse given your height differences. Are you trying to say I'm short? Well, I mean, you are shorter than me, Vegeta. Right, I'd say about a full head shorter. <laughs> hey, I know! Bulma still uses the Dragon Balls from time to time, right? Why don't you ask Shenron to make you taller next time? Damn you all! How dare you mock me! <laughs>